All right, take two. I tried to film this video yesterday for you guys and the lighting just was not cooperating. So I'm gonna try again today. So this is gonna be accessories. There's some luxury items thrown in here and it's gonna be, you know, everything from a little bit of accessories that the person can wear to, um, you know, just usable practical items that are also re have a really nice aesthetic at the same time. Okay, the first item on our gift guide list for today are VitaJewel water bottles. These are gorgeous luxury water bottles. They are absolutely beautiful with the gym stones inside so they have like a little bubble of glass that holds the gemstones and they make them with all different varieties of gemstones like different combinations if you just go to their website I'll have a link below and you can check them all out there all the different varieties that they have um, but this one I think is wellness and it has the rose quartz the amethyst and the quartz crystal um, so I just love the look of them Michael and I bought these at the gym show a couple of years ago so we've been using them almost every day for the past couple of years and we love them I just always keep them stocked with fresh water in the refrigerator they have the accessories that go with the bottles also that you can buy separately so if you're gonna get accessories for these they have a couple different options I really like this one with the handle and it won't come off either like it's not gonna pull off the top or anything. When you put that on, it has a little lip that grips around like on, on the underneath side of the lid. So you don't have to worry about that like sliding off. So I love the idea of giving a VitaJewel water bottle as a gift because they are so luxe and fancy and they look, you know, they look really pretty just having it around. So it just makes you feel good. And it reminds you to drink water, which we all need to probably be drinking more water. At least I know I struggle to remember. So having a nice pretty water bottle around reminds me. And it grabs my attention like, oh yeah, okay, I gotta drink more water. Okay, before I show you this, I'm gonna talk about something that I don't actually have with me to show you guys right now. Okay, it's the Lark self-cleaning water bottle and I'll put a picture up here on the screen and I don't have this to show you guys. I haven't got to try it out yet, but it is on my wish list, and I thought it was just a gorgeous water bottle. Like the look of it is just very sleek and modern and you know, it's got a very contemporary look. Just the fact that they're self-cleaning, I think is really neat and very unique in itself but I think it would just be nice to slip into your gym bag really easily or have with you on the go in your in your tote bag or purse. So I wanted to mention those definitely. I think those would be a really neat gift idea too. Okay, next up for gift ideas, hydro flasks are definitely on our list. Michael and I both use these every single day. I normally always have at least two going at the same time. So I always have one of these 32 ounces. Um, these are actually customizable too. If you go to their main website, you can see all the ones that have like the the regular black lids right but then if you go on customize you can actually change out the lid color to be you know like a different type of color that you normally can't get on the regular website and you can match it up with the color and the boot which is the little grippy part on the bottom so that is uh, what that one is so that's why it might look a little different uh, normally they do have the black lids though this is one from their new holiday collection that they just released. It's the 16 ounce tumbler and they make all different styles. If you're not familiar with them, they are a insulated, like a vacuum insulated thermos basically. So you can use them for hot or cold beverages and then keep them hot or cold for a really, really long time. And they always release new colors, so they always have some beautiful color coming out every season. And they kind of become collectible because sometimes the color is just limited edition, and so you gotta hurry up and try to get that color. So when I saw that come out for the holiday collection, I think that was in the color Icicle. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but I love it, that icy blue. I love the frosty, you know, the frosty blue with the whites. Just so pretty. And then I don't know if I showed you this one yet, but this is the 22 ounce tumbler, which is currently in use right now. Um, it's got a, a giant latte in there. So they've got all kinds of sizes, options, styles, colors, and they're gorgeous. They have different types of lids. You can buy these online on their website. You can order them directly from them. They ship all over, or you can go into places like REI, Summit Hut, so yeah, a lot of the outdoorsy stores carry those and I absolutely love them. Hydro flasks are just awesome and they just work. They're just, they're just so practical, but yet they look so good at the same time, you know? Watch out for denting it though, because I know Michael dropped his in here on the ceramic tile and it did dent it. So it's not like they're totally, you know, they're really tough, but they're not like totally like dent proof or anything. So just watch out if you drop it on a hard surface or concrete or something, might dent it. So just be, I, be mindful of that. But otherwise they are awesome so I'm also gonna mention Yetis which I also love I only have one of these this tumbler and I think they call these the rambler um, and this is what size is this one anyways it's a 20 ounce 
I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it's like around a 20 ounce, but I like the lids on these also. And they always come out with a variety of limited edition colors too, or new colors for each season. And on the lid, they have that black part that slides open and closed. So when it's not in use, you know, you have that, that completely sealed and closed. But I like that it's really easy to clean because those are magnetic and all you do is pop that off. And there you go, it's totally smooth. You can just get in there and clean really easily and you can clean that part. So it's like there's no little crevices or anything that you gotta deal with. Just super easy to maintain your lovely little thermos. Okay, so hopefully I didn't overdo it sharing too many of the reusable cups and thermos ideas with you guys. I just wanted to share all those brands because they are all so different in their own way and they design their products really well and they're kind of the best of both worlds of form and function. So you know, they're beautifully made and they're pleasingly aesthetic to the eye, but yet they're so practical at the same time and they're so usable in everyday life, you know? Okay, so if you're looking for a really good quality pair of winter boots to either give as a gift or for yourself, a couple of brands that I really like are Sorel and Columbia. So I know Sorel makes the Tofino or Tofino 2 and Joan of Arctic, but I think those have leather on them, um, if I'm not mistaken. But those, I mean, they make some really gorgeous boots, women's boots. But if you're looking for a pair that does not have any leather on there, you know, if you're vegan or plant-based and you're just looking to get away from leather, you're looking for an alternative, uh, I like Columbia. Okay, so these are the Heavenly Shorty and they're the Omni Heat. They have a reflective fabric on the inside that is made to help keep you even warmer. And these are so cozy. So these are just a little ankle booty style, right? So they only lace up so high. They don't even lace up like up to where the fur is. They kind of like stop right here. So they are very low. If you're looking for a higher boot, I'll put this up on the screen. These are their minks and they are gorgeous. They remind me of like snow bunny boots, right? So I would totally be into, well, those are on my wish list because I love snow bunny wintry type of outfits and stuff. So I actually picked up these Heavenly Shorty Boots last year after all the Black Friday and Cyber, you know, week sales were all done and gone. And it was, it was like, I think, wait, actually it was this year. I got them in February and they, you know, so it was past all the sales. So even though I'm sharing these videos a little bit later, there's still discounts. There's still awesome deals to be had, especially as the brand is kind of, you know, moving out their older lines or their older designs or older colors. And they're bringing in the new ones for 2020. You can still score amazing deals even after Black Friday and all of that's all done and gone with. But I just wanted to share some options with you in case you're looking for leather free boots and you're, you know, you're plant-based or you're vegan. And so you're searching for those options because I know it's so hard to find, you know, the replacements if you're going in that direction. So I wanted to mention those. In fact, I can always do a video if you guys want to see like a whole, like everything that I've kind of switched over to because that helps the process if you're moving into like a plant-based, you know, lifestyle or something. So getting those replacements that are super high quality, really well made, very luxe you know you still want to feel like you're you're enjoying luxuries even though you like swapped out your maybe old luxuries you know and I don't know if I'm talking fast right now but it's just that I have like so much that I want to share with you guys and I did have like a giant uh, a giant latte too so that that could be part of part of the problem here you know whatever you're investing in or gifting to someone else you want it to be functional right you don't want you don't want it to just be for looks right because that's well, we don't want to be wasting our money is what I'm trying to say. We want to invest in something that's going to function and be awesome and high quality and worth it for years to come, right? Posh, California. Okay, yes, I have to talk about them. Even though I don't have them here to show you right now, I will put them up on the screen. If you are not familiar with Posh, California, they are an awesome luxury boot brand, but they are all vegan. So Posh, California has a whole selection of boots that are like the luxury vegan version of Uggs, but they are coming up with all kinds of different styles. You know, they have different faux furs and they use super high quality faux fur in their lining. And so they look just like the, you know, the shearling type of boots and they're all vegan. So I wanted to share those with you guys, but I don't have them in here right now in my hands to show you or do a review. But if you want to see um, like a review on them after I do get them in, cause I ordered them, but they're on pre-order right now. So I think they are supposed to ship out today. So as soon as I receive them. I can always do a video update with you guys and share, you know, how they are and give you the whole breakdown because I used to be a huge fan of Uggs before I went vegan in 2015. Oh, so the boots I got that I put it up on the screen here, those are the ones that I actually ordered. So they're the tan and the snow leopard. I loved the color combination of those. I thought they were so cute. If you guys want, when my order does come in, I can always do a review on those and really kind of break down into detail, like how close they are to Uggs. What do they feel like? What's the quality like? How do they fit? And I can do a review 
for you guys on Posh California if you want to see that. Just let me know in the comments below. Okay, the next gift idea on our list is a luxury handbag. And this is gonna depend on how well you know the person. You know, of course, all of these gift ideas that I'm sharing with you, it's gonna depend on, you know, is it relevant for the person you're gifting them to or you know, maybe you're just shopping for yourself. So I'm sharing these videos just for anyone, you know, anyone, if you're looking for yourself to treat yourself or for someone else. So these are corker handbags. And if you're looking for a leather replacement, these are it. I love cork. It is awesome. It's amazing how like it actually gets more supple and kind of like the way it wears over time, it makes it softer and more supple, which is just it's just gorgeous. It's Cork has become the leather replacement for me and I absolutely love it. Every time I'm out, I get compliments on this bag and it's, it's just a simple tote, but the cork on it is beautiful. So Corker, as you can imagine by their name, is a company that makes all their items out of cork. That's their specialty. They make all kinds of accessories. So they make a variety of handbags, all different styles. They make belts, wallets. They even make items for men too. They make messenger bags and men's wallets men's belts, and so there's quite a variety on there of different products, and they're really high quality, really well made. Like, I've had this bag for about three years now, and so I, I love that I've had it that long, so I've got to wear it. Oh, and I've worn, I've used it every single day for the past three years. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and like show you, you know, how it's held up. Um, this is another style from Corker, and I, I have two of their handbags and one of their wallets, and they come in nice uh, dust bags also. And so this one is more of a, well, it's one of their crossbody bags. So I do have a long strap for it too. They can, you know, wrap around you or it, it can be like a long shoulder strap too. But normally I just use it as more like a, you know, an arm bag. And I have the wallet in here that matches this one. So they make their cork in different, uh, different styles, like the, the kind of print of it, I want to say, but it's all natural, but they, they just make different, you know, different designs. So this one is more of the zebra print. I think they call it. They've got tons of storage in here. So like all the spots for cards on both sides, they've got the zipper for your little coin purse. So if you like the more slouchy look, the tote bag is awesome. Or if you like the more structured look, the, the crossbody bag is, is great too. So cork is a sustainable material. I just think it looks so cool. You know, it's got such a rugged, unique look to it. I think it'd be a great gift idea. Like anything made out of cork would be really cool, you know, like any kind of accessory. Um, but if you have someone who, you know, has like tried to transition into plant-based and they're kind of like looking for leather alternatives, what a great idea to get them a cork accessory. You know, if they love the look of leather, because I was always a big fan of leather and so it took me a while to start finding the alternatives to to that kind of stuff so i'm a big fan of corker that company and their cork accessories so i think that would be a really cool idea for guys or girls okay next for gifting accessories a nice scarf is always a winner it's a really easy item to gift someone because they're one size fits all they're widely available it's also an easy gift idea for someone who might not be like really close to you maybe they're not like part of your family or something or a mate maybe they're like your your hairdresser or you know, a coworker or something. Of course, they're they're like candles or throws, you know, they're just an easy item to give. So the scarf that I'm wearing right now is by Calvin Klein. I got this at TJ Maxx and I almost said Trader Joe's. <laughs> I got it at TJ Maxx and I love it. It feels so soft. It feels like cashmere, but it's not. It's, it's totally vegan, but I love it so much. So a really nice, well-made scarf is always a great gift idea. Um, and even down here in Arizona where people always talk about how hot it is, it, I'm telling you today it is freezing out. So I am wearing my scarf happily and it feels so nice to just be cozy inside the house, all safe and sound wearing my scarf and talking to you guys. Another cozy item that's really easy to gift to someone is a beanie. And you know, a nice, warm, cozy winter beanie. This one I actually got here in Tucson at a craft fair for five bucks. Uh, the lady had handmade it and she had hand knitted, she only had two of them and I bought both because she was like, oh, only $5. And I was like, what, $5? And so I just was like, okay, I'll take both. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make like a little pom-pom because I love the, you know, the, the snow bunny look. So I'm gonna go ahead and make like my own faux fur pom-pom and make it like a little detachable pom-pom on top. 
Um, so anyway, that is my plan for this. So you could also give a hat and mitten set or hat and glove set or a set with the scarf included. That would be really nice too. So these are just always handy items to have and I, know, I feel like we could all use them. They're very functional and they can definitely look really cute in the winter time. So as I mentioned, this beanie was handmade and so I don't have the, the lady's information who made it. She didn't have a card or anything when I saw her the first time and I've never been able to find her ever since. But I will share like North Face. I know has really nice beanies and gloves and mittens. I think they have some mittens, but yeah, they've got some really cozy, like fleecy type uh, gloves and some really pretty beanies. And in fact, there's one beanie that's super cute that I saw that I was looking at and I'll, I'll post that one. You know, I can't remember the name of this North Face beanie, but I will put it on the screen and they make them in all different colors. They're so cute. They're a palm beanie. So if you like palm beanies, North Face is definitely a good place to check. They also have awesome gloves and I love their fleeces, but we're not talking about clothing in this video so that'll be a different clothing video or outerwear video to share with you. Also TJ Maxx has really cute palm beanies that I've seen in there lately and of course their scarves which is where I got this Calvin Klein one. So they do have some really nice ones that come in. I saw a turtle fur in there which are really warm cozy uh, fleece line beanies that still have the little palm. They're really cute. Um, okay another uh, gift idea is oh cozy luxe slippers for the house. So Podge California has uh, some really cute house slippers and I would definitely Definitely get this pair here. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, so I thought those were just adorable. The, again, those are in the tan and the snow leopard, but they have all different colors and designs and combinations. So those slippers from Posh California, those are on my wish list. I want to try those out and check them out and then I can review them for you guys if I do end up getting them in the future. But also uh, Acorn is another brand that makes really nice house slippers and they make nice cozy ones for winter time. And then they also have their spa slippers, which are hugely popular and they're just really thick and cushiony and it helps protect your feet so well against like hard surfaces. So for most of the year, the spa slippers are awesome. I love them. I live in them. I have three pairs of them and they come in all different colors. So I think those would make a really nice gift for someone. And they're just so, they're so easy to slip into, you know, after the shower, especially is when they're really handy. Cause you don't necessarily want to be slipping your foot into like a fuzzy pair of like I don't know, like, I'm probably not gonna be wearing like faux fur right after the shower. Let's just say that, you know, I just, ugh. I, I, but I love faux fur and really soft, you know, shearling type uh, footwear for any other time, you know, when your feet are dry. But fresh out of the shower, the spa slippers are awesome. So actually, yeah, those would work during any time of year, I think, including winter time. So cozy house slippers, yes. Acorn spa slippers are awesome. The posh slippers, I definitely am going to look into those. So those are on my wish list and I'll share them with you guys if I do end up getting them and let you know how they are. Michael just got home. Hello. Say hello, how's my little animal? <laughs> Bathrobes are another great idea to give as a gift because it's something that you might not purchase for yourself, but it's it's like a luxury item that you might not normally think of purchasing for yourself, you know? So to have a nice bathrobe where if you do like to lotion up or put on oils after your shower to help lock in moisture, it's just nice to get into a nice cozy bathrobe while you're letting your oils or your lotion soak into your skin before you get dressed. Um, so whether it's in the morning or in the evening time, these are really handy. So I just wanted to share that as another gift idea. Um, this one, I bought at uh, TJ Maxx and the brand is Max Studio. Okay, another gift accessory idea that's kind of a more luxury type of item is a really nice watch. And I've had this one for about eight or nine years. This is my white ceramic fossil watch. I got that at Macy's and I still love it and wear it all the time. So giving a really nice watch is always a great idea. Even though we all have, you know, our phones that tell us the time, it's not really about that. It's more like watches will never go out of style. They're always gonna be classic, you know? So it's something that I think is always usable no matter if we have our phones telling us the time, you know, so um, definitely a good gift idea, I think, is receiving a really beautiful watch that's well-made, good quality that you can have for years to come. I just changed camera positions. I apologize for doing that to you guys in the middle of the video, um, but I needed to kind of reassess what was happening with the lighting and change positions and make sure I was getting bright enough light in here uh, without getting the sunlight on me. So um, hopefully this lighting is better and I'm trying to use all natural light. So I was trying to use my ring light earlier and it just, it's, it's 
it's never as good as like just the all natural light, you know? So um, I'm hopefully this is like gonna be better lighting here. I like facing this direction better, but I know that now my, my background is kind of like changed and now my dining room is back there. So I'm hoping that my dining room is not gonna be like too, too distracting for you guys. But I love having like the brighter light here. So hoping that the lighting will be better. On to our next gift idea, and that is a beautiful pair of high quality sunglasses. I love the idea of gifting sunglasses. Well, it depends on if it's relevant, you know, to the relationship you have with a person. You know, if you're able to pick out the style that they like, the type of uh, fit that they like. So a good pair of sunglasses fulfills that form and function, which is my favorite type of gift to give. One that, you know, it looks great. It has a beautiful aesthetic to it, but also at the same time, it's fully functional for everyday use. You know, don't be afraid of investing in a good quality pair of sunglasses because you want it to last you for years. You don't want like a cheap throwaway pair. Um, I mean, we've all had those, right? Like just the little fashion sunglasses, you know, uh, but it's definitely worth the investment to go for a good quality pair that has excellent polarization. Maui Gems are one of my favorite brands for that. Actually, they are, they are the favorite brand for both Michael and I. We love these. They also have excellent customer service. So if you accidentally scratch a lens or, you know, you bend a part on it or something happens or you lose a screw or whatever it might be, they will fix that for you. You can send them in, they take care of you. If it's something that you actually accidentally did to it, you know, then you can pay a small fee and they will fix it for you and repair it and send it back good as new. Like literally it feels like you're getting a brand new pair of sunglasses. So I've had these worked on a couple of times over the years and you know, you might be a little, you know, like if you're not used to kind of splurging on sunglasses, it might feel a little like sticker shock. Like this pair, for example, cost me $300, but I bought them over 10 years ago and I've worn them almost every day since. So instead of just looking at the initial cost, I always break it down by per use, right? So that's, it's not about the cost, it's about the value, right? So how many uses are you gonna get out of this item? So for example, these cost me $300, but I bought them over 10 years ago. Okay, so 10 years is 3,650 days, right? You know, I've worn them almost every day since, but say I've only worn them 3,000 times in the past 10 years. And if you break that down by the $300, that means it costs me 10 cents per day to have an excellent top quality pair of sunglasses. I feel like that belongs more like in a budget video, but I just wanted to do that a quick breakdown with you guys. Or another way to think about it is would I rather have one really good quality pair of sunglasses that has excellent polarization or would I rather have a whole drawer full of fashion sunglasses that don't have great lenses? So it just depends on what's more valuable to you, you know, the volume or the quality. Um, so anyway, um, or yeah, quantity or quality. I, the minimalist always goes for less and higher quality, right? So I like the idea of higher quality and less. That's it, like a win-win, right? And that's not just for sunglasses, that's for anything. So that's kind of why I'm sharing in these videos, you know, kind of emphasizing go for the quality over quantity. Okay, this is definitely a luxury gift idea, but it also has an experience attached to it. So I like to go out and pick out gemstones all by themselves, like just solitaires. And I will then go out and search and hunt for the perfect setting for it. So I was thinking that would be a really cool idea to give to someone else too. Picking out their favorite gemstone, maybe it's their birthstone or just a gemstone that they really love. Um, like I have a morganite here, that beautiful blush kind of peachy pink stone. I love that so much. And then I've got a sunstone and I'm going to go out when the gym shows come around again with Michael, we're going to go out and I'm going to hunt for the perfect settings for these. The morganite was an anniversary gift. Well, actually both of these were just at different anniversaries. The morganite was the most recent one. And so I'm going to have that turned into a ring and I think it's going to be white gold. So it matches my wedding ring. But anyway, I was just thinking about that. I was like, that would be just a really fun gift. You know, if the person is, you know, the sort of person who loves gemstones and things like that, I love the idea of that because you're giving a gift that the person can, you know, maybe they're unboxing it right then and there. So it's something really special and unique that they get to hold in their hands right then. But then they also get to go out and have an experience with it and with you, you know, with the person who gives them the gift. You know, you can go out together and make it a whole experience that you get to enjoy together, you know, the hunt for the perfect setting. And it's their choice if they want it turned into a pendant or a ring, or maybe you got a set and it's gonna be earrings or something. And I just thought that would be a really cool idea to give to someone. And it kind of stretches out that gift, you know, like 
they get to forever have that experience, that fun time of getting to hunt for their perfect setting to go with the item. They get to pick out the middle. Maybe they want rose gold, yellow gold, or white gold, or maybe it's a semi-precious stone that they're gonna have set in, you know, sterling silver or something. So I just thought that would be another cool idea that's really, uh, it's specialty, it's luxury, but it's also specialized for that particular person, you know? So they get to kind of be part of, they get to be involved in the design of their piece and it just makes it extra special. And whatever their favorite go-to type of jewelry is, you know, whether it's necklaces, anklets, bracelets, rings, you know, earrings, whatever the kind of go-to thing is, is always a great gift for any jewelry lover. Um, some of my favorites are like Amber, Larimar, Kazakhstan Turquoise, Herkimer Diamonds. Uh, I just think that they are gorgeous. Oh, and of course, Australian Boulder Opal. That's like one of my ultimate favorites there. So for any jewelry lovers, any type of, so, what was that? I don't know if that was a lizard or a mouse running past here. That's that's gonna be a problem sitting in front of my windows is I can see everything out here, like every car that drives by and every lizard that drives by or mouse, I'm not sure what that was. Michael's got a lot of firewood out, outside here. It's like lined around our house here and I'm, I don't know what's living out there, but it could be anything. Okay, the next item I have to share with you is an accessory, but I feel like it would fit into, I don't know, I was thinking that like I should do a gift guide for travelers or a gift guide for I don't know, nature lovers or something, you know, something that's like outdoorsy, active. But I wanted to get this into a video as soon as possible for you guys, because I think that these are a great gift idea, and that is a day pack. Day packs are a really usable item. You know, it's it's a great item for people that love to go hiking or just on short treks or even just a walk or if they enjoy photography or anything that they need to carry some stuff with them, you know, out into nature. I love using this for my camera gear. This is an Osprey uh, daylight pack and I absolutely love it. I bought this at Summit Hut here in Tucson a couple of years ago. Actually it was about a year and a half ago now but yeah I absolutely love it. So I like the idea of day packs because they're just such a usable you know very functional item and um, they really come in handy in a lot of different circumstances. I was thinking of doing the same sort of thing like the the gemstone idea where you turn it into an experience so it's not just the item itself. So I was thinking you know something that I would like to do as an example is taking Michael on the Colorado River and actually rafting the Grand Canyon. I thought that would be an awesome trip. They, they have rafting trips that you go through the Grand Canyon. Can you imagine that? Have any of you guys done that? Oh my gosh, that would be so awesome. I can just imagine like being in the canyon, you know, rafting it. Oh my God, I love rafting, but, um, and I don't know, yeah, Michael's rafted, I'm sure, but yeah, I'm definitely, that is definitely a plan. I'm gonna take him rafting down the Grand Canyon. So giving the gift of experience along with an item. So they open up the item and then maybe you have like a little card in there with it and they pull that out and then it has the itinerary in there. Like, I, I think that would be so cool. Like, I would love that. I know I would love that, giving that as a gift, and I would love to give that to someone as a gift. But yeah, I love that idea of gifting an item that connects to an experience. So they don't know they're getting the experience yet until they open up the item, and then they find out later on, you know, like, oh, here's an itinerary, or look where we're going, or whatever. It's gonna be an experience you both get to have together. And it's gonna make it, it's gonna make it so cool, you know? And you know what, even if you're not able to give the gift of experience, still a day pack is an awesome idea all by itself. Like, I, I love that. Or any type of gear that suits the person's activities, you know? All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, so I was finishing up editing this video and guess what arrived? The Posh California boot. So I have to do a really quick first impressions with you. So are you ready? Okay, here they are. Oh my gosh. I am so excited about these. I absolutely love them. They are exactly what I was hoping that they would be. Like the quality and everything. So I already tried them on. I've been running around the house with them. I took them outside a little bit and they feel so good on the feet and that suede. So it's all, it's faux suede, it's faux fur, it's all vegan, cruelty-free, but they feel so real. Like I can't believe that that suede, I can't believe that it's not like real suede. It feels like it. The faux fur is so soft and fluffy. I love how thick it is. It's just, I love that print. It's just so wintry and beautiful. I'm so happy that those worked out and everything about them, like the tread and everything, the piping, it all reminds me, like even the stitching and everything, it reminds me of Uggs exactly. So this extra fluffy faux fur trim goes down to about right here. So it's just on the inside at the top and then it switches 
from here down and into the the foot part it switches to the faux shearling so it's actually two different types of faux fur so the faux shearling is a little bit thinner than that fluffy uh, faux fur and that, I love that it switches to that faux shearling down inside the as the foot lining uh, because if you had that fluffy faux fur going all the way down the boot into the foot area your feet would probably overheat but this is like just right it's just the right thickness and fluffiness in there so with sizing they recommend that if you're in between sizes to order the next size down so go a little bit smaller but when wearing these kind of boots I like to wear my winter socks so they're a little bit thicker so I just went with my regular shoe size and they fit perfect so the socks that I like to wear are like my REI socks they're just a little thicker they're really warm for winter time and these are also vegan too from REI there's no there's no wool or anything in there um, and they're really cozy okay I just had to put one on again and I was just feeling around in the insole they just feel exactly like what I remember Uggs to feel like so there's not like there's you know crazy memory foam or arch support or anything going on down in there they're just really soft fluffy and cozy inside there and in that insole but I imagine that you could totally like there's definitely room if you needed to put an insole with arch support in there that you could totally do that I love them I absolutely would highly recommend them if you're looking for a good pair of winter boots and you love the Ugg look these are like the ultimate Ugg replacements here and I love this color combination uh, the tan and the snow leopard that snow leopard faux fur is just like so thick and fluffy and gorgeous and wintry and beautiful and snow bunny-esque yeah if you are on their website you're checking them out and you're kind of like him and han like mm, should i order them should i not just get them i don't think you're going to be disappointed i think that these are gorgeous they're high quality they feel amazing and they are just made beautifully like the materials and everything Every i love everything about them thank you so much for watching and definitely check out podge california i will have the link for 10 percent off below and they're so worth it and everything else that i mentioned in this video will also be posted below and if i have links to anything else with any discounts or promo codes or anything i will put those below also for you guys so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video oh the next video is going to be one that you guys requested which is a gift guide for plant lovers which i can't wait to do that one i'm so excited for that one okay so i'm going to start getting everything together for that and uh sit down and start filming that right after this so okay love you guys and have an awesome day bye